Good afternoon, Ms. McCoy. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Dr. Glover? Good. How are things going at the high school? They're going very well. We have spent um, the last day and a half contacting parents and students to find out about accessibility, whether or not they have computers and internet at home, or if our teachers need to prepare paper packets for them to pick up next Monday. Well, good. I know that a lot of parents probably and people watching don't understand just how much joy that we get seeing the students every day and our staff. And so when you're at the schools and nobody's there, it's definitely a, a different a different feeling. So we want to do everything we can to make sure we continue the education at home and, and when it's safe, hopefully be able to bring our bring our students back this year. So um, tell us about your plan to how we're going to get through these next couple of weeks. So for the next two weeks, um, the teachers are working on um, either a Google Classroom assignment because many of our classrooms are already using that um, in their in their daily instruction. So it's not anything new for the students. Um, they'll access that through ClassLink, okay. which is on the district website and on the high school's website. So the different teachers that their students have, if they've been using Google Classroom, will have those assignments pop up in Google in the Google Classroom app on their ClassLink. Okay. If that if they're core teachers, and we're really just talking about core here because that's that's what at the end of the day that's what we're most concerned right. with. If their core teachers haven't been using Google Classroom, then they're going to prepare paper packets, and we will have those available for pickup at the high school on Monday from 11 to 1. Okay, good. And um, now, if they need to log in to anything and they have lost their login, how will they need to go about um, getting that information? So they'll really need to email um, their teacher, okay. and right now the best way we can do is relay that through our um, MIS tech okay. or through our media specialist, both of whom can reset passwords. As I understand it, as long as they haven't forgotten it, they're not due to reset okay. during the next several weeks. So we should be in a good place there, but if they've forgotten, we good. do have a, a mechanism for that too. And I know one thing we have found out that um, no, none of this process is easy and we have not got anything perfect, but K-8 can be a little smoother. High school is a little bit more of a challenge with the accelerated school, making sure we can get schedules and credits. Um, I know we want to make sure that our seniors are a priority so we can make sure that they're, they're able to graduate. And um, But I think y'all are working on that and got a good plan there put together. Yes, sir. I uh, also want to let you everybody know that on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, you can drive through the elementary school and pick up a meal. Your students have to be present. Uh, you get breakfast and lunch, and we're going to evaluate how this week goes before we look at the, um, the following week. But if you're a student and you're hungry and having, um, and you need some food, please reach out to Ms. McCoy so she can get in touch with us, and we will do everything we can. We don't want any student or a family um, going hungry. We'll do everything that we can. Uh, and I know y'all's office is going to be open, so yes, if there's any questions, email the teachers, call Ms. McCoy, call the district office. We will do everything we can. We want to use a lot of compassion and grace to get through this, to work to, uh, to work together. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and there's a lot of questions uh, that maybe we can't have even thought about. So I say start with a teacher, go to Ms. McCoy, and then, then he gets to us, and we'll try to do what we can to figure it out. So... Um, if there's anything else, I'm a student at home or a parent at home, anything you want to um, help clear up any questions, anything else you can think of? Um, I think the only other things, please do reach out. I should be in the office every day unless I'm, I, I am going to help out with delivery of lunches. I'll be out and doing different things, you know, as, as Dr. Glover requests. But for the most part, I'll be there. Coach Gray is going to be in his office as well. So if you can't get me, you can try to get him. Um, email is always the best option. Um, right now, we're looking at we have we are canceling Grad Bash. You know, okay. there's a lot of uncertainty with Universal Studios right. and, and that event, and so we'll be getting in touch with those people who have made those reservations okay. on how they'll get their money back. Um, you will only need to come pick up a paper packet if you don't have internet or a computer. Okay. Um, I think that's another important thing. And then graduation right now, we're just gonna put on hold and say that it's gonna you're gonna graduate sometime say, May 29th or after. Right. Right now, graduation is on normal date. I think it'll a lot will depend a, around the CDC recommend recommendations. Uh, I think all of us have said that we do not want to um, cancel graduation. We will have to follow those recommendations. If we have to delay it, 
uh, we'll, as we get closer, we'll have more information on that right now. We just want to make sure that we get our students their work, that they're able to graduate, that they're able to, uh, to get their credits. Now, you said um, the packets. Will we be able to send those on the buses or will they need to come to the school to get those because the high school being unique? They're going to need to come to the school to get those. Okay. If there are circumstances where they cannot come to pick it up, we'll either take them to them or I'll put them in the mail Monday afternoon and we, they'll get to them. We will get you the work. So thank you for that, Ms. McCoy. Yes, I, I appreciate that. So I know we're, we're missing the students. Um, we have to do what we have to do to keep not only our students safe but our parents our community and all of all of us at the same time so uh, please know that we miss you we're here for you we're here to serve and if you need anything let us know absolutely all right thank you y'all have a great afternoon just a couple of things that I just wanted to mention that I forgot to mention earlier was a lot of there's been a lot of questions about refunds from field trips uh, each school will be handling those so if you will contact the school uh, give them a couple of days if you can. We're trying to get the academic part of this going, getting the work out, and then they're going to start working on refunds. So uh, you can contact the school where they will be contacting you about refunds um, for any field trips that you've already paid. Also, I know we've talked a lot about the drive through food, the curbside service for Wednesday, Thursday. We will be evaluating that later in the week to see the need and see if we will how we can continue that or if we need to tweak it or offer it more. So we, we are evaluating this week uh, uh, to see how that's all working out. The other thing, if you're a student and you are hungry and you not, do not have food, um, or your family needs some food, please contact, um, you can contact Mr. Blue in his office, contact your teacher, contract, uh, contact your administrator. They will get that information to us and we will do everything that we can to get you some food. We do not want anybody in this community, especially a child or a student, to go hungry during this time. So if we can help, please let us know. We'll do everything we can. Thank you, have a great day.